Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today we're looking at a set of radio mics or wireless microphones. Um, and I've got several of them. I'm always buying wireless microphones. I love microphones. I always think it, audio is a very integral part of video production and certainly YouTube content creation. If you've got poor audio, people won't watch the video because they can't hear it and it's pointless if there's noise in the background and wind noise and, you know, and all this sort of malarkey. So I like to use, you know, wireless microphones because I like to get the microphone as close to me as possible. I am actually picking up a uh, backup sound, secondary audio, on my Sennheiser MKE 600, which is plugged into my Tascam Audio Recorder X8 um, audio recorder. Um, and that's always a backup, just in case there's any failure with the main audio. Um, at the moment, I'm using my uh, Comica uh, wireless microphones. I've done a review on these. I'll leave a link up here somewhere. These are great, great wireless microphones. But I have recently purchased this here, which is the DJI wireless microphone kit. And it comes in this very, very nice, very well-made um, case, um, similar to the Holy Land Lark 150s. I've actually reviewed the Holy Land Lark 150. They also come in a case kind of similar to this. And what's great about this, it's got a battery in the case. So all you do, you use one USB-C lead to charge the case up, and then that will charge up the components in the case, i.e. the receiver and the, uh, there we go, the receiver and the two transmitters, because it's a dual microphone kit. And that is great. If you're doing interviews with two people or you're doing presentations of camera and you want somebody else to be on camera, uh, it's great. You just, you know, hand the microphone over because these kits, these modern wireless microphone kits, the microphone is actually in the transmitter. So this is just one of the transmitters. Let's say there's two of them that come in the cage. They come uh, uh, pre paired so you don't have to pair them and if they do lose pairing all you do is drop them back into the um, case and then that will automatically repair them so that is great I don't know how they would lose their pairing uh, but if they did you just drop them straight back into the case and on the front of the case there's a row of LEDs that show the charging status so when you plug open the case you can see the LEDs lights up and that's showing the case has got a, you know, a full charge. So um, that is great. And apparently, I think they said you can get up to two and a half charges. So once the microphone runs flat, put it back in here. You can do that twice um, to, to be able to keep them charged. So that should get you through an entire day. And obviously, if there's only one of you, but you've got two microphones, well, you could double that, couldn't you? Because you just use the other microphone, um, as long as the receiver itself doesn't lose, lose its charge. Um, so that's basically how that works. It does come with uh, two adapters as well, and I think that's, that's great. My other radio mics don't come with adapters, but this kit comes with two adapters that are in the case. So it comes with a uh, USB-C adapter, so you can actually use it with you know, uh, a mobile phone, a Samsung mobile phone, or, you know, whatever it might be. So it comes with the USB-C adapter. It also comes with the lightning adapter. So you can actually plug it directly into your iPhone. Um, you know, if you're a mobile content creator with an iPhone or with your Samsung phone. And I think that is great and it's actually stored in the case. But what we also supply is a little bag. I'll show you. Let me just put these back in before I lose them. They go back in there. And it also comes with um, you know, nicely made pouch, nothing exciting, but it comes with this pouch. And in there, you have your various cables, you know, your cable to connect it to your camera. Um, and you have your um, windsock, says, uh, and USB-C charging cable, nothing exciting about that, is there? Um, and these uh dead cats these wind socks which are great for you know when you're outdoors the only thing i found with these wind socks they're bayonet fitting and apparently they you just put it on the top of a microphone and then 
uh, twist it and it locks in, but I've had a hell of a job of that. I find it really fiddly fitting. I'm sure once you've got it on, it will stay on, um, but I haven't bothered with that just yet. So I've just found them far too fiddly. I liked the Hollyland approach. It wasn't a bayonet mount. The headphone jack, uh, as it is, a micro external microphone jack is on the top there, and you just plug it into that, and that covers the microphone. I found that a much more quicker and a much more sensible method. But every manufacturer has their own way of doing things, and that's um, you know that's uh, DJI's way of doing things. Not my cup of tea, but um, but yeah, that'd be fine. Um, the other thing with that. If you've got the windsock on the microphone, then they don't fit back in the case. So you still have to take the windsocks off to be able to fit them in the case. Um, the other clever thing that uh, DJI have done, um, DJI do think of a lot of things when they create a product. They look at lots of different things that you know will help the content creator. Um, but they've got these little magnetic plates these tiny little magnetic plates that uh, magnetise to the back of the um, transmitter. So you can put the transmitter on someone and just hide this behind uh, their shirt. So you can put it anywhere, even if you can't clip it on a shirt or a blouse or whatever, um, then you can use the little metal plate. The only thing is, um, I was using it earlier today and I've lost it. It's gone on the floor and I don't know where it is. So um, just have to be careful that you don't lose these little um, plates. Um, so that's um, basically the case and the um, uh, microphones. Now the microphones are, are lovely made, they're really compact. So you've got the actual, both two identical microphones, one left channel, one right channel. Um, but uh, so you've got your microphone on the top there which is the same on all the other ones, and you've got your external mic input. So that's great, you can put a Lavalier mic into this. Uh, so if you don't want the person to be seen with a, a transmitter, then this can be hidden in the pocket and you can plug a Lavalier microphone into the actual unit. So um, that is great. So you've got your um, linking, your pairing uh, switch there on the side. Um, if you need to repair it, but as I say, just drop it back in its case and that'll repair it. And you've got a record button because this is awesome. Um, this is one of the reasons I bought this kit uh, was you can actually record internally to the transmitter. And I think that is uh, phenomenal. And that is great because you might lose connection between the person that's doing the presentation and the receiver on the camera. There may be a breaking interruption if you, certainly if you're working at any distances. So you can do backup recording on the actual uh, transmitter. And what's great also with that, with this USB port, as well as being able to use it, I believe for charging, that gives you a data transmission to your computer and your computer will just see that as an external drive. So you can download the WAF files straight from this onto your computer. There's no additional software needed, whereby with these road ones, this road kit that I have here, you do have to um, uh, use the road software for getting the files off, because you can actually do recordings on the road kit. The other thing with the roads, um, they don't come in a case. So you have to use three USB leads to charge them up, and it's a real palaver. Uh, with the DJI kit, you don't, it's all in the case. Um, so I use this record button quite a bit. All you do is just hit, just literally hit it, and a little red light comes on. Now that is actually recording um, you know what I'm saying. So you can see the little red light on there, so that's actually recording that. Um, and, that and that is great because, again, if you're going out and about, you could literally put, even without the receivers, you could put that in your camera bag, uh, particularly if you've got a camera that hasn't got, um, you know, a, a, a microphone jack, you can put that in your camera bag and you use that just to record your audio. It's a portable audio recorder, uh, you know, and in its case, there's two of them, even if you don't use the receiver. So, I mean, that's fantastic. And I have tested it and it really does work like that. And I really love that as far as this DJI kit is concerned. And when I do go out, I do tend to put one of these in, the, just slot it in the camera bag. It's tiny, isn't it? You know, slot it in the camera bag and then you've got backup audio recording. So um, that's basically the transmitters and the about clip 
um, or shirt clip or whatever goes there. So that is great. Now on the actual receiver, obviously it's got your outputs, it's got your line output to the camera, and it's got your headphone output as well for you know um, monitoring the audio. Again, that is crucial. There's a lot of cameras on the market, like my G100, the little Sony ZV-1 as a great example. It's got a mic jack, so you can use this with the ZV-1, but it's got no headphone jack. So you can use the headphone jack on the receiver to be able to check that the audio is coming through to the receiver. Obviously, that's not telling you what audio is being recorded to the camera, but at least it tells you what audio is being received by the receiver. So that is really, really useful. Um, the other thing that I really like about the DJI is when it's mounted on a camera, let's just stick it on a camera. When it's mounted on a camera, you can see, it's a strong clip actually, you can see the audio levels, I haven't turned the mic on, let's turn the mic on so you can actually see those audio levels moving. That mic should just automatically come on. Uh, no, let's power it on. Right. So um, there we go. So now I've turned the mic on. I've got the green LED on the mic as well as on the camera. Um, very much doubt you'll be able to see that, but um, but I can assure you the LEDs are on there. Um, and you can see the uh, from the uh, front of the camera, you can see the audio levels. It's not on the top plate like it is on the roads. That would be on the roads, they'd be on the top, so you can't see it. But if you're in front of a camera and there's only you on your own, you can see those audio levels moving. So you know that it's receiving audio and you know your radio mics are working completely fine. So that again, I think is fantastic. Great little design and it's touchscreen as well. So you can actually go into your settings uh, using the touchscreen. Um, let's just show you how you do that. So you do that, scroll up, and you've got all sorts of settings here. You've got all manner of settings, and it's stereo, mono. Uh, you can set a safety track on it. Um, and you can do all sorts with the settings. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go through what all the settings are, because I don't think this video really wants that. This is more of an introduction video as to, um, you know, these particular microphones. I will go outdoors and do a range test. I know everyone uh, loves to see a range test with uh, wireless microphones. How far would it work? Um, to, for me, again, that is of no importance, because I'm not working a great distance between myself and the camera, and I know that it will work beautifully at this sort of range. Even a much further range, it will work fine. But I will do the range test so you guys and girls can actually hear what the audio is like from a distance. Now it does work on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency that all these other microphones do. So I'm not expecting the range to be, um, you know, incredible, but it should be pretty decent. Uh, you just have to be careful because it's the same frequency as Wi-Fi routers work on. If you're in an environment where there's uh, lots of Wi-Fi going on and lots of routers, you may find there, there might be interference. So uh, just be wary of that. Um, the other great thing with all of these microphones, there's no license required uh, to use them. They're licensed three so that again is a you know a great benefit for content creators it doesn't matter where you go you know you're going to be able to use uh, these microphones um, and the audio quality is you know really really good with these microphones and you'll hear the audio quality when I go out and do the range test um, I didn't want to actually uh, set it up in here uh, for the audio for you to hear the audio simply because if I'm fiddling with it it's going to affect the audio so I didn't want to do that because uh, I am fiddling with it um, but there we go yeah that is the that is the actual uh, kit and it is a really really nice kit um, it's my regular kit that I use for uh, content creation and the fact that it has got audio backup audio recording on the transmitter that is brilliant because if you do find that the audio is crap, you might have even set your camera audio levels far too high and it's distorting. At least you've got your backup audio on the transmitter. There's so many features that these radio mics have. Um, and again, the fact that it comes with the adapters to be able to use it with um, you know, mobile phones, I think is phenomenal. They haven't left that out or forgotten that. So I think you know, it's an all-inclusive package. 
and being in one case when you go out recording you go out you know on set um it's all in this one case so you know when you drop the kit back into the unit um you're going to be charging up the unit you know you'll be charging up the batteries so um you know that is great isn't it that's now charging that back up you know ready for your next shoot so i think that is um that is awesome um yeah so there we go that is a quick look at the dji microphone kit now let's go outside and do this range test as i said earlier that we would do Okay, so I've come outdoors and we're going to do the range test with a DJI mic. Now, this is kind of pointless, really, to be honest, because the DJI mic can actually record internally. If you know you're going to be recording a presenter or presentation to camera quite a distance from the camera, then you'll just set it to record internally and then post sync it afterwards. But for the sake of this test, I am going to actually record directly into the camera. Um, I haven't got it recording on the actual microphone. Uh, I've got a microphone here on my shirt, but I'm not actually set it to recording. So we're going to actually uh, go down the path. I've got my little trustworthy measuring stick. I don't know if that can be seen on there, probably not, but um, I've got my trusty measuring stick. And then we're going to measure in meters how far we are away from the camera. Now, I suspect when I turn me back to the camera, the sound might go as we go further down the garden path. My Kamika microphones were great because they didn't, you know, the sound didn't disappear. Uh, but we'll just see what happens with uh, DJI mics. So there's a measuring stick. We're going to go down there and let's now turn that back this way. And let's see how we get on. So I've got my ZV-1 uh, just to get this uh, cutaway shot here. But I'm not using the audio from the ZV-1. I'm just going to use that to sync it with the DJI mic. So um, we've now got to here, and that's measuring, what's that measuring? Sorry, I can't see that in the sunlight. Eight meters, almost nine meters, that is. So that's eight meters. Um, turn to the camera. Uh, I suspect you'll still be able to see me because I can still see the camera clearly. Um, and the ZV-1 obviously will see me because I'm holding it. So um, hopefully that audio is still picking up. This isn't a test, by the way, on how good I am at camera work with vlogging because I'm not a vlogger. It's purely an audio test to see how good the audio is. Now I am facing the camera, so the audio should be, you know, pretty good because I'm not that far away from it. But I think this is as far as you would ever want to go if you are presenting to camera, but we are going to go further. So that's eight meters now on my measuring stick. Let's go down a bit further, see how we get on here. The ZV one's a nice little camera for vlogging. It's not quite wide. I would like something that has, say, this is equivalent to 24 mils. I mean, it was like 18 mil would be really good. So if they do a Mark II version, a slightly wider angle would be really good for vlogging. And I've got it set to active steady shot. But again, whether you can hear any of that, we don't know because um, I was had me back to the camera. But I'm now facing the camera. I can still see it in between the bushes. Whether you can hear it, I won't know till I look at it back in the studio. Um, but uh, yeah, so that is, um, oh, how far away are we now? That is, seven, uh, yeah, 17 meters. We're now 17 meters away from the camera. I'm facing the camera. So again, I'm hoping the audio will be good. It was when I used the Comica microphone, the audio was pretty good. Um, but we, we shan't know until I look at it or hear it back in the studio. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's now go a bit further just to see the awkward going down here because so now we're back on the home straight heading back towards the camera and I'm hoping now because I am totally facing the camera as I walk back towards it and I'm hoping the audio should stay you know should be with us um, but my angle this said the one isn't going to be very steady because I'm not the steadiest of person with vlogging I don't do vlogging but as I say it's purely an audio test just to see how good the audio is. So I'm almost back at the camera and uh, I'm using, by the way, my Sony ZV-E. There we go. Let's get it right. I'm in uh, the uh, camera now and I'm using my ZV-E 10 and I've got the Sigma 56 mil lens fitted to it. It might be overexposing slightly, but again, this isn't a video test. This is an audio test of a DJ 
DJI mic. And I think you'll find at this sort of distance, it works great. But as I say, because it has got built-in audio recording in the mic, you don't need to worry about the fact if you are going any distances, just set it to record and post-sync it afterwards. So there we go. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of these videos. That would be really, really helpful. Helps me grow the channel and I really, really appreciate that. So thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for more videos relating to video photography, audio, pod, pod, podcasting, so on and so forth. Cheers for now. Bye.